What's up guys, it's Jason and I'm back. Today I'm going to take you step by step so you can actually see what buttons I'm pushing and how to actually do a print. So I'm going to jump over to my computer really quick and show you guys what I'm going to print and then we'll go back to this in just a second. Anyway, let's do this. Alright guys, so we're in Canvas. I'm going to drag over the Multicolor NBA Coaster and I'm going to go ahead and select Files. I've downloaded this already off of uh, Thingiverse. I'm going to pick the Lakers and I'll pull in both colors. So I'm going to go up and select purple and yellow. If I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> Alright, so once I figure that out, I'm going to drag those straight on over to Canvas into multi-material, let it go. And as you can see, it's sideways so you just go over and click group go over to rotate and then you're just gonna flip the axis the right way obviously so there you go and I want to do two of these because I'm gonna print two so I'll go over to the duplicate just like that let it auto arrange and then you're gonna have to select all of them if you want to I guess um, if you want to scale them down so I'm gonna scale these down quite a bit I don't have a huge printing bed for the Monoprice Maker Select Plus. I'm going to bring those down. And once you get them the size that you want, I didn't necessarily want them angled, but it was fine for this. Close that down. And I'm going to put color on these. So I know the Lakers are yellow and purple. So I'm going to go back and forth and decide. It was kind of an issue. I didn't want to change colors. I thought about doing one yellow with purple lettering and one with purple with yellow lettering. But I finally figure out that maybe this, I mean, it looks cool, but it's gonna be a lot more transitioning to do that. So it takes me a second to get this figured out. <laughs> it's me, not canvas, because I'm dragging it and dropping it and trying to get it in the exact spot. And do we have success? No, we changed it again. There we go. Now that one is ready to go. We're ready to go. Look at those. All flat and ready to rock. Okay, I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to show you guys the transition. So tonight, I want to try to sand, a sand transition. A sand? No. A side transition. So I'm also slowing my first layers down to 20. I took the raft and I'm doing a number of two outlines here and I'm not doing a raft not for these flat ones I'm gonna put a little glue down and some tape and I'm hoping it's gonna stay so basically that's my settings 0.2 layer height all that jazz you can get that off and pause it if you'd like so I'm gonna hit preview which pretty much slices this, this model up for you once it's done it'll tell you that it's gonna take about an hour to do. Now, you notice the side transition. That's normally where the transition tower would be, but it's off. And my print bed <laughs> is not one that I can print off the side. You'll see. So that's what it looks like all the way through. I think Canvas is working really well. So you go ahead and download. Once you hit download, it's gonna give you two files, okay? One for your palette two and one for your 3D printer. I'm gonna pull these over so you guys can see. I'm not doing any magic behind it all. I'm gonna unzip the Laker coaster zip. It's gonna give me a file in a second. There it is. Double click it, kinda. And it gives me two files. So this is where I put one file into my palette two and one into my 3D printer and save that baby. So I've saved the files. I put one on uh, my palette two SD card and one of my Monoprice Maker Select Plus card. And then from the rest of the video, you're gonna kind of be seeing this from, I guess the, uh, the point of view from my camera as I work with the palette and the back of me as I work through it. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna turn on my other camera so you guys can see what's going on. Check this out. So you guys, I'm going to ahead put my, my, um, this is going into the, uh, the palette two. Okay. And then this SD card is going into my Monoprice Maker Select Plus. 
Okay, so we're at this point here. Okay, I was clearing all of my, I had to clear all of my stuff. So anyway, what we want to do right now is want to, uh, to start a print. Okay, we're going to go to the SD card. As you guys can see, I'm hitting the SD card. Now you've got an op option for Canvas too, but I'm not going to use that right now because uh, I'm, I'm just going to wait to do Canvas on a later video. So I've got the Mosaic Keychain Owl I did the other day and then the Lakers Coaster right there. So I'm selecting the Lakers Coaster and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my Monoprice Maker Select Plus and I'm going to go ahead and start having it load filament so it can go ahead and heat up uh, uh, my machine and so it can start pushing uh, the leftover filament from the Mosaic Keychain. So now, as you guys can see, it is saying insert dark purple filament. So I'm doing that now. It's lit up, if you guys can see that. I hope you can. Just push that up in there. Hope y'all can see that. Okay, now it's saying to insert yellow filament into input two. So I'm going to do that now. I think that I'm going to hide in Somewhere by a gate and star Baby, they ain't never going to find me I'm a renegade Okay, it says feed filament into your extruder gear. You'll hit next. Okay, it's going to tell you to your clip guide tube into the extruder. All right, so you guys can see up here the it's uh, the filaments come out the top. It's purple, and uh, it's pushed out the filament as I've loaded filament into my Monoprice Maker Select Plus. So I'm just going to kind of help this start pushing down, and it's going to start feeding my filament into my extruder, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and hit next here. And it's telling me, hopefully y'all can see that, it's telling me when I should actually stop uh, feeding my filament. So, if you guys are looking at this angle here, it's ex extruding uh, filament right now, and it's uh, basically down to 27, 26, 24. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm stopping the loading on my actual thing. We hit finish here. It says start your print. Uh, start your uh, start print on your printer. So on my printer, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, back button to where it says print. I'm gonna find where it says Laker coaster. I'm selected it. I hit finished, and uh, we're working through it now. So now that your your print is complete, I'm going to show you what the screen on the palette 2 says. Let's check it out. So as you can see right here, um, you get it says finished print, uh, the Laker, Lakers coaster. It took 57 minutes, three splices. I know went crazy with splicing, and uh, 
you get the chance to rate your print. And uh, anyway, I'm going to show you what the print looks like. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and give this thing uh, one, two, three, four. Let's see, one, two, three, four out of five. Just because I want it to keep working for it. Push those in there, four to five. I'll hit finished. And there we go. Before I actually show you the prints, I want to show you the side transitioning uh, overage, which is significantly less. So if you guys are looking to do side transitions, this is what came out. I have these little purple and yellow PLA turds, which if you guys have seen the transition blocks, this is amazing. Now my 3D printer does not, and I'll repeat it, does not do side transitioning, but I just went ahead and let it see what would happen. You guys saw I was doing operation, just trying to grab the pieces. And at one point, it kind of was uh, jammed up and I was grabbing it. I would not suggest doing that, Just, but I was dead set on not starting over. So I wiggled in there and did a little cool hand loop and got those pieces out. But let's check these 3D prints out. They are the LA Lakers uh, coasters. And I think they turned out pretty amazing. I mean, the colors hit right where they're supposed to. Uh, like I said, if your 3D printer's set up right, it has nothing to do with your palette too. It has everything to do with your 3D printer. But the colors hit exactly where they're supposed to. And uh, I'll let you guys check this out in slow-mo in just a second. But as, as far as I go, guys, I think this palette too is going to be a beast for me. I think it's going to be amazing. So... Uh, I, I know you guys are going to want to pick this thing up if you're a 3D printer. Uh, go, I'll put a link to Mosaic's uh, website uh, on my on my on the description, so you guys can go and take a look. But uh, this is the this is the uh, Palette 2, not the Palette 2 Pro. I'm going to be uh, testing that one a little bit later, and uh, also hooking up to the Canvas Hub here soon. So be looking for those videos. And uh, anyway, check out this close-up. <laughs> Take away the pain.